What up, it's your boy T-Bear here reaction. Today, we're going to do some Tron 11 videos right now, too. Kick things up, one's, a couple of videos I've been, I put together that I wanted to do Tron 11 for the longest time, though. So, one of my favorite shows of all time is always The Fresh Piss of Bel Air, though. So, so you know how to tell us. No, one of the brothers basically released the videos, the two videos. Hold up, I got to do the order, it looks like. I don't know. Let me switch them off in order real quick. But anyway, um, one of the brothers... Yeah, I'm right. Warner Bros. TV released a video on a compilation of Uncle Phil's outbursts. You know, the one of the most one of the most uh, reoccurring things on Uncle Phil on um, Fresh Prince is uh, one Jazz getting thrown out, two Will Will back and away ladies, and, and but the main one is always is Uncle Phil having a great outburst, but it's mainly towards Will or as well as the other kids. The only other kids he have outburst. For the most is Carlton, but it, but he has outbursts towards he has outbursts towards Hillary and even Ashley as well at times too. And anybody that's not not a member of the family, uh, Jazz is one or somebody else in general. So anyway, Alton feels best known from tempers and them temper moments to be hilarious though. So once first thing first recipes Alton Phil shout out to James Avery R.I.P. though. So I'll follow you. Let's check out uh the first Alton Phil outburst and even more outbursts. So let's get it. Oh, oh yeah, this is me trying to laugh, by the way. Mm -hmm. oh. What's your name, son? Oh yeah, this <laughs> Lord. Yeah, he said he was done for that one. This is a stick with a snake wrapped around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a symbol, like Prince. Prince who? I wonder if he was a. Like, he's he did anything else exactly later on with this guy. I wonder if he did anything else. Uh, probably probably somebody known. Mm -hmm. uh, they grown up. What's this thing? It's a symbol for get out of my house. <laughs> Why you ran like that though? Daddy, he said, love him. "This is way you ran out there though." Keep it up, sir, and I'll be all you have left. I guess. I'll oh. Be I'm not through with you two yet. Mm -mm. I want to know what it's you are ones. pulling such a stupid stunt. We needed the money. For what? And I want the truth. Mm. And it's between this right, and the other one. Is my first, it's funniest one. Carlton got this inside tip on a stop. Is that mm -hmm. offense? Go on. <laughs> mm. then, then we pawned Aunt Viv's bracelet to get the money for the stop. Grand larceny, impressive. <laughs> and then we lost yeah. the money. So we had to strip to get the bracelet back. That would be indecent exposure. <laughs> and one thing is, is, is takes me out about this. Let me, me rethink about this episode. There was a there was teenagers in high schools, y'all. That was crazy. That was crazy in high school doing this, man. <laughs> almost off, almost off laughing. I can remember just trying to laugh though. These these are teenagers in high school doing shit like this. Like wow. Is there more? I'm I know you're in your twenties plain, but still they're supposed to be teens. Fixed on mom's bracelet. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And you did not I don't know what to say. Mm -mm. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> this is the bull. <laughs> Reward us for our honesty. <laughs> 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 uh oh. You get that bracelet back, and for the next six weeks, I don't want to hear you breathe. Or I'm calling the feds myself. It's the door that guy always kills kill me every time. Every time. I guess this probably ain't the best time to tell him we ran away. Every time. Uncle Phil 
Phil, I don't think comedian is a bad <laughs> Oh, word. snap. I just spent thousands of dollars sending you to a top-notch prep school. Maybe I should have just sent you to Camp Funny Pants. Lord. Look, I bet Sinbad's parents supported him when he wanted to be a comedian. They named him Sinbad. <laughs> he had two options, pirate or comic. Look, Uncle Phil, I know it's a shock, but think of all the money you'll save oh, by sending me to college. Mm -mm. There is no future in it, Will. Come on, Uncle Phil, can I help it that I'm this incredibly handsome, incredibly talented guy with star quality? <laughs> Uncle Phil, this thing is... I always love Hope Wado. Sort of. <laughs> I was when I saw he did uh, Six Degree of Separation because the mustache is barely, it's, it's like slowly growing back. I just want you to go to college. That's all. Uncle Phil, and I will if this doesn't work. But come on, you gotta let me take my shots in life. You really want this badly, huh, son? Yes, I do. And you actually think you can make a success of it? Yes, sir, I do. Well, son, I guess there's only one thing for me to do. I'm gonna oh, nail you behind hey. to the floor. And if I catch you anywhere near a comedy club, I'm gonna break every funny bone in your body. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Mm? Perfectly. <laughs> oh, this heat is oh, shit. I need to take a dip in the pool. Uh, safety first, my little nonsense. Well, this is their side of the story. Oh. Only if Dad would fix the air conditioner in the pool house, we wouldn't have to be out in the sweltering heat. How could it be so cruel? He's mad, I tell you, mad. <laughs> Stop it. You will not he's speak of Uncle Phil that way. He may be an Cots is a fool, yo. Dictator, but he is your father and my uncle. And they play too much. Their, they play too much with their side of the story. I swear to God, he did. Thanks. They play too much. They play too damn much. The, the the girl from the back, the the one that was like, uh, I guess she was trying to look. She was asked by her bathing suit. She was underrated beauty, yo, for real. Can't swim. Here we go. <laughs> yo, it's like his feet kills me every time. Cause his feet. Oh, oh! Hello, Mr. Bain. I need to find a compilation of the Carlton screams, yo, because his screams crap me up every time. I swear I might not make it through a whole compilation of that without laughing, especially the one when he's in the uh the gas station when juggles the, the clown juggles supposedly try to help the gas station. I need a compilation of that. Comment down below. You got a compilation of Carlton screams or Carlton formulas? Comment down, please. What's she doing here? Uncle Phil, she wandered over lonely and crying, and I didn't have the heart to turn her away. Hit the, the bricks, bricks, you little, little tramp, tramp lord. I tell your mother, your father has a girlfriend. I'm going back into the house, and when I come out, I want all these freeloading parasites out of here. Hey. Yes, sir. With he turned into... Yeah, I'm, I'm at, uh, like how he turned to he was turned to Shredder in there on the side of the story. In the hour. Five minutes, four. All right, Will. If that's the way you want it. The shit laugh. Hold on a second. The little man woke up. All right, I'm back. Let's keep going. Suffers from displaced aggression. Oh, my, hold on. My, my, my uh, headphones right jack came out. Anyway, oh, yeah. Syndrome. Oh, well, Dr. Hooper, I'm afraid I would have to get a second opinion before I could believe that. Oh, it's definitely displaced aggression syndrome. <laughs> Let me put it in simpler terms. This is where a child acts out the repressed hostility of an unhappy home. I repeat to him, too, he passed away. away. Oh, too many big words. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 
dumbest thing, but I got a couple of small words for you. Maybe. <laughs> Hey, good news, people. The girl. Obviously, your wife is upset. It's common with women in midlife. I'd be happy to prescribe something. Yeah, he's been a dickhead. Yeah, he's been a dickhead. You got your degree? You find it on the back of a matchbook? <laughs> please, my humble brothers, please. Penn yes. State, my brother. Really? Good school. I was thinking of going there if my scholarship to Princeton, Yale, Wharton, and Talladega Tech had fallen through. <laughs> Impressive. You must have been quite an athlete in your thinner days. Mm -mm. Okay, time out. Okay, time hey, out. Hey, let's stick to the topic, okay? Fine. Speaking as a doctor, I think your daughter ought to be heavily sedated and immediately institutionalized. Well, speaking as a lawyer, I can only say that your daughter suits the criminal profile to a T. Right down to the low sloping forehead and the wide jaw suitable for grains and small rodents. I think you must have a confused with your mama. <laughs> Never told my sweet mother. That's it, Uncle Phil. You're grounded. Of course. You know, I'd be happy to prescribe something for that. <laughs> yeah, Will's a fool, yo. Oh, man. Yeah. No matter what level, no matter how corporate or anything you are, never talk about somebody's mom, man. Oh, my God. That, yo. Mm. All right, so we're going to check out even more uh, outbursts from Uncle Phil, though. Yo. But, yo. I swear that the, the one with the um the beef after they uh, got caught for stripping or something like that that's one of the funniest one. The other ones on here too when because the, they find out what happened to Jeffrey that he, the reason why Jeffrey quit. That was my second favorite one right there. It's the time between the two. Oh yeah, I am. Now this now this one won't be too much of a laugh right here. This one this was like go ahead Uncle Phil. These kids are car thieves. And you have made a big mistake. Now, I don't know how you mm -hmm. got that bogus confession out of them, but those two boys haven't stolen a thing from anyone. Well, this so they played the play biggest play amateur operation I've seen since Mayberry RFD. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you ask your wife to calm down? Calm yourself, Barney Fife. Mm. Now, officers, I'm sure we can clear this whole matter up quite easily. Could you please sit down? We're busy now. Oh, honey, we're about to get very busy. Okay? Mm. Sit down. Hey, no. you don't talk to my wife like that. Now, wait a minute, buddy. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? What's going on here? Can I help you, sir? I'm Henry Firth. Good news, Mr. Firth. Your car is safe and sound, and we've got the perpetrators. Those aren't the perpetrators. Those are my partner's son and nephew. Partner? Uh -huh. Legal partner. He's, yeah, he's like, he like, oh, partner. Yeah. No, he's, oh, it's different now because he's, he's the partner of the way guy, right? Mm-hmm. Give him, give him a pill. For you. When you got this alleged confession from these two young men, did they have a lawyer present? No, because I'm their lawyer. Did you notify their mm -hmm. parents? No, because we're their parents. So, officer, don't tell us to wait. And don't tell us to sit down. Just open that damn cell and let those two boys out of there. I'm going to tie this place up with so much litigation that your grandchildren are going to need lawyers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Open the cell, Jerry. Told the asses, asses, right? Yup. Oh, uh, they say they showed us almost, almost, almost this, this part of the boring part I'm struggling with. Lord. One is the loneliest oh, man, of the truth. Oh my God! Uh, look, where's our camping equipment? Well, you were supposed to secure everything that a luggage dragged. I did. Oh, wait, this ain't the Volvo. <laughs> the car phone. We'll call for road service. Yeah, great idea, Carl. And you can tell him exactly where we are, too. Somewhere in the dark between a rock and a tree. I'm sorry. You are outside the calling area. Please try your call again. Well, I guess sending for pizza is out. <laughs> All right, now that's it. That's enough. We'll just get back in the car and go for gas in the morning. I'll get in the car. But you just... Get in the car! <laughs> now, you know, Uncle Phil, now, I haven't been on too many camping trips. 
But snow is a bad thing, right? Look, let's look on the bright side, okay? This will give us a perfect opportunity to pull together and show what we're made of. Does Bigfoot have to come down here with a chainsaw before you admit we're in trouble? Okay, okay. Hold on. I'm back. Brought a little man with me. He, he's getting restless. Anyway, let's keep going. We can't stay here. We'll freeze to death. Just get all hey, the stuff out of the back seat and we'll, we'll go ahead on foot. Get out of the car. But you just... Get out of the damn car! I'm too humiliated uh -oh. to stay. Here we go. Jeff, G, G. Jeff, you can't go. It was a joke, man. Well, what are we going to do? Look, I don't know about you, man, but... I'm going to take this TV right here, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hey, grab that radio, drop it off in my room for me. You did what? Are you out of your horny little adolescent minds? Here you go. I know I am, Dad. Hard a dummy. What you did was not only humiliating, it caused Jeffrey to quit his job. Look, Uncle Phil, it was just a joke. A joke I had nothing to do with, Dad. I mean, you know me, I don't even have a sense of humor. <laughs> You two have pulled some pranks in your day, but this one, this one takes the cake. <laughs> He's about to blow, man. Make a break for the front door, I'll cover you. So, so. <laughs> tell me, uh, if you were me, what would you do? Um. I don't know, uh, forget the whole thing, get us a couple jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you big-eared freeloader, you take your little square-headed cousin here, and you find Jeffrey, and you bring him back, or they'll never find your bodies. And I'm a judge. I can make it happen. Yes. You know, I, really, I, I don't mind the yelling, but, but does he have to spit? I'm gonna be late for oh. Great, you have a phone. That's right. And you don't. Nicky. Will, we gotta get that phone. Look, Uncle Phil, just ask him nice. Oh, no, after what I did to him, he's never gonna let me use it. Oh. Well, you know I'm coming straight out the hood, right? <laughs> All right, where I come from, when we want something, we step up on it and take it. Observe. It was a fool. Hey, look, man, if you don't let me use your phone, I'm gonna start singing Paul Abdul's greatest hits. I guess you want to use this phone real bad, huh? Yes, sir, I do. About as bad as I wanted that cigarette. Stop, ghetto time. No, 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 here we go. Sir? Give me that damn phone. I'm going to rip your liver out and eat it raw. That's right, boy. And he about due for a snack. <laughs> I look at the guy back and like, yeah, get him. He's cheering him on. Yes, sir. Lord. Change of up three oh! I can see that's three. This is this probably number three. Killed them. I just find him a three. Then we got out when we did, huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you, son. Oh, yeah. Well, did you say something, Dad? I don't want you to move out. Sorry, Dad, I have to go. No, you don't. Will says I do. He says it's time for me to leave the nest, become independent, and have sex with girls. <laughs> Same sex, mind you, but lots of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this what you been telling my boy? That life is one big orgy? Well, college is hard work. I ain't never... Followed by a family, which is even more hard work. And a teenage son who not never... be seen with you in public. And a wife, a wife who wanted you anyway near her. And a butler, a butler who may be the father of your child. And a guardian, yeah. a guardian. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. I don't know. This was a good one. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I was saying number three. Well, I 
can't bear to see him like this. That's why we're moving, so we don't have to. <laughs> well, look at him. He needs me. No, I don't. I don't need either one of you. There is a silver lining in my dark cloud. Hillary. Mm. I'm sorry, Hillary Banks? <laughs> ah, that's it. Whew! This was fun. This was fun, though. Oh, man. So, anyway, other than that, though, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Rex signing off. One love.